There we go. Okay. So there's two different ways that you can add people to this subscription. The first way is kind of doing it individually, which is what I'm going to show you guys first. And then you can also add a mass group of people to the subscription. So if you have a group made or if you want to set your whole contact list up for neighborhood news, you can do that. But like I said, I'm going to go through and kind of show you guys the individual way first. So I'm here in my contact list and you're just going to find the person that you want to set up. I made a dummy profile for myself. So I just clicked onto my name there in the contact list and then it will open you into that person's individual contact in Engage. And this screen may look different depending on if you have the person categorized or not, but it doesn't really matter. What we're looking for is the subscriptions section on the left-hand side. If you do not have this particular person set up for any subscriptions, there won't be anything down here where it says neighborhood news, but instead it will look more like how this group section does it will just prompt you to add a subscription for this person. I'm just going to add another subscription. So I'm going to click the add button next to where it says subscriptions. And then this is going to give us the two different options of subscriptions that you can do quick ads for. So today we're obviously focusing on neighborhood news, but there is also a listing announcements option. And that is going to be a announcement that will be sent out whenever you have a new listing or a just sold. Um, like I said, we're not going to go into depth on that today, but that is another option for a subscription and is also a useful one if you are interested in using that. So neighborhood news over here to the left, this will give you kind of a brief little description of what it is. It's basically a monthly email that will send out a market snapshot for the area that you selected or that the client selected. And it will just give you know some useful stats, some listings in the area and all of that good stuff. If you want to view a sample of what this will look like, you can click view sample down at the bottom. Now this isn't a complete sample because obviously it doesn't really have a selected area. This is just to kind of show you the basic of what it might look like. So this is not a complete report, but you can kind of get a feel for how it will look. I'm going to exit out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and start the subscription. So I'm gonna click the blue add subscription box up towards the top. From there, it's going to give you two different options, one for a quick ad and one for a custom targeted search. So the custom search you might want to use if you are setting this up for a specific client that has certain needs that you're trying to meet. Um, maybe they're only looking for a home in a very targeted area. You could go through this. This never works on my Wi-Fi, so I'm not going to click into it. But you can either draw in a target area or play with the filters on it, um, which is, like I said, good for people if you have very specific needs that you're trying to meet for them. However, most of the time, the quick option is more than enough and gives great information. So this one is going to go off of a zip code only. So you would just enter in the targeted area, I would recommend just the general area where you typically cover with your business. So I'm going to click go. And then this little pop out screen to the right will pop up and it will have the email address where this um, subscription is going to be sent to. And then it will allow you to enter in a zip code just to the right of that. So you can enter in any zip code that you want. Like I said, try and make it specific to your area where you work. The client does have the option to edit this if they receive the report and they wanna change it. It's very easy for them to do so, which I'll show you in a moment. 
The next spot down here is just the welcome email. So this will go out the first time that they are set up with this subscription. And then they won't have this full long message every single time that it's sent out. But you do have the option to edit this if you want to. However, I think that it's a pretty good message. I don't really think that you need to edit it. And then down towards the bottom, it will also show any active subscriptions that this person already has set up. So I already have a test one set up for myself. So it will show you the zip code that it has in there and also the email address that it went to. That way you're not duplicating things and sending it to multiple or sending the same report multiple times. Once you have all this to your liking, you just hit done and then it would go out and send to that client. Now I will show you guys in my inbox what it looks like when it is sent. So when it shows up, this will be the subject line. It will say neighbor, neighborhood news from whatever your agent name. And then it would open up into this little snapshot of the report. This isn't the complete report, but this is just gonna be kind of a teaser for it. So it's going to have your name as the agent and your information. That welcome message that we did have the ability to edit if we wanted to. Next is the section to actually click on the report and view it. And below that is just going to be very basic information from the report. Like I said, this isn't the complete report. They're gonna have to click on view full report in order to get all of the info. So I'm gonna click on that. And now that this is all open, you can see all of the agent information is in the top left corner. Here is where they have the ability to make any edits to that zip code. So it's gonna show the zip code that you as the agent set up, but they can click this edit zip, enter in whatever zip code it is that they want. And then they also have the ability to check the box to save it for future reports. That way next month when it's sent out, it will reflect that zip code that they entered in instead of the one that you set up for them, which is great because then they're going to get the information that they want every time instead of just your you know, blanket information that you sent out to them. They would then just hit apply and it would save that information. And you do also have a way to go in and see if they've changed the zip code and also what they changed the zip code to, and I'll show you guys that in just a moment. But this is what the full report would look like. So it's going to have all of the listings in the area. They can scroll through, they can click on anything that they want to click on. And it will also give this map view over to the right and show you where each individual listing is located. Basic information, they can click to find out more. They can also do the same. So if they were looking at this and they said, we really don't wanna be out on the peninsula, we wanna be more central to town, they can just look through the ones that are here and kind of see their information the same way as pulling them from this list on the left. Below that is going to be the trends. So this is going to show just basic information about the selected area over the last 12 months, month to month, some graphs, some statistics, just kind of good things that people like to see, especially if they are keeping an eye on the market. And then down at the very bottom is going to be a place where they can leave a message for you. So this would pop in to your engage and you would be able to see if they typed you a message. And then also down at the very bottom in the left-hand corner, we do have an unsubscribe button. So if they get this and they really don't wanna be a part of it, they don't wanna receive them anymore, they can always unsubscribe. 
So that is kind of the gist of the report. It looks very clean. It's very easy to use. Now I'm going to jump back in and show you guys where you can see if they make any edits to that zip code. Bailey, can so I'm going to go back quick? over. Someone have a question? Yes. Um, I want to know when they open that up and they click on a dot and it opens and it says contact agent, is that going to mm -hmm. contact you or that listing agent? That would go to you. Uh, okay. Right. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to look to see if they've made any changes to that report by editing the zip code. So all that you would need to do is go back into engage on their contact card and go to the activity section. Just a moment. My goodness, why won't it let me click on that? All right, well, if you did click into the activity section, I'll hover here and wait and see if it lets me click into it. Um, but you would be able to see every time that the person opened the report, you would be able to see any changes to that zip code that they made. And also it will tell you what day they made those changes on. So it is a very nice um, layout of information. I don't know why it's not letting me do this. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna click into activity and here now you can see all of the past history for that neighborhood news. So you can see every time that I've opened it you can see down here the other day, I changed the zip code. So I opened it up and I clicked that edit zip code button and um, changed the zip code to something that, you know, would suit me more. So this is kind of a good way that you can keep tabs on anything that they are doing, any changes that they're making. So maybe you thought that they wanted to look in a certain area, but then turns out they completely changed the zip code. You have record of that and you can kind of tailor your interactions with them to that new change and say, hey, I saw that you changed from Traverse City to the Long Lake area. You know, is that somewhere where you're more interested in being? So it's really a great tool where you can kind of track and see if they're opening them, what their status is um, with all the different properties that are on that report. Okay, so now we're gonna switch and I'm gonna go back and show you guys how to add a mass amount of people easily to the subscription. So I'm gonna go back up to people at the very top and then go to my people again. And like I said, you can either set up your whole contact list for this, or you can, if you have groups made in your contacts or in Engage, you can filter it by groups up here, search all those people, um, kind of however you want to do it. I will say that I don't think this is a terrible idea to send to pretty much everyone because the worst thing that's gonna happen is they click that unsubscribe button and they don't receive it anymore. But it is a great touch point to kind of keep people in the know on your local market. So to select people, you can either go through and check random boxes like this. If you maybe don't have a ton of people in here, you can check them like that. Or you have the option, if you have a group selected up here in your search bar, you can simply hit the select all button and that will hit every single person that is currently showing. And then all you have to do is go up to the add to drop down right below the search bar. 
scroll down to where it says neighborhood news. And then you're going to have the same options that we did when we were in the person's profile um, in their contact cards. So you can either do a quick or a custom. If you are doing this for a whole group at once or, you know, your whole contact list, I would definitely recommend the quick over the custom because, you know, with that many people being added at a time, there's no way that if you kind of narrow that search down, it's going to be relevant to all those people. So I would recommend just doing the quick option and entering in a zip code. So you'll see when you do select that, you can either go through and add individual zip codes for all of these people, but that is not a lot of fun. Or they have the nice option up at the top, enter same zip code for everyone, where you can just type in one zip code, hit apply to all, and it will add all of those in. Once you have that and your zip codes all filled out, you would just hit subscribe and continue, and they would be able to be added that way. So that is really all that I have today. It's really simple. Neighborhood News is a great tool, and it's such an easy touch point to set up to stay in touch with your whole sphere, as well as clients that you're actively working with just to keep them in the know about current market happenings and all of that good stuff. So is there any questions last minute before we jump off of here? Alrighty. Well, if there is no questions, then thank you all for joining me today and I will see you next time. Thank you.